guys, I'm Dr. Kayla, the dentist you can ask anything. Today we are talking about sleep. Sleep! Before I'm the ex, I am so good at the sleep hang, I can do it with my eyes closed. <laughs> I'm gonna take over but the hero ma. I want to ask why my husband ha, he always snore very loud and suddenly gets for air on his sleeping one. He's also very sleepy mm. during the day off and always complain to me what he hated la, chest pain la. Even after he slept through the night you know, I get like slapping him back. <laughs> Well, those sounds like signs to a dangerous condition called obstructive sleep apnea or OSA. OSA is a sleep disorder when your breathing intermittently stops for more than 10 seconds during sleep, which is caused by partial or total blockage of the airway. Oh. Hey, actually I don't understand. Can you speak the human language? Alright, let me tell you a little story. Jack is a man who is a little overweight. When he sleeps, his tongue and throat muscles relax falling back to his airway. Now, his airway is blocked, breathing stops and his body is deprived of oxygen. He's physically suffocating in his sleep. His body knows that he's in danger and now tries to save him by waking him up with a loud snore or gas for air to restore the oxygen level in his body. This can happen up to 30 times in an hour but you know what's the scariest thing? Jack doesn't even know because he was asleep the whole time. What? This is why Jack always wake up with a headache, dry mouth, and is extremely tired during the day because he subconsciously wake up so many times at night. He can't perform all at work and almost got into a few car accidents as he simply couldn't focus due to the pain take. We are concerned when patients like Jack walk into our clinic. OSA is a serious condition that put a lot of stress to your body which leads to weight gain, heart and liver problems, stroke, hyperpressure and so much more. Hey yeah, so scary man, but see this kind of thing cannot control one man. For starters, you can try sleeping on your side and avoid taking alcohol. However, this will not help in most cases. A few professional treatment options for OSA includes CPAP, where you can basically become gay from Batman and wear this thingy that maintains the constant flow of air into your airway. You can also opt for surgery to remove the excessive tissue at the back of your throat or to correct the jaw size. There's also oral appliances such as mandibular advancement device, which stabilizes your jaw forward as you sleep, preventing your tongue from falling back Words, which allow your airway to be patent or unblocked. Then again, different treatment options suit different people. Hence, always seek professional consultation with your doctor or dentist trained in sleep medicine. Of course, snoring can also be caused by old age, obesity, or several conditions, for example, deviated septum or enlarged tonsils. If you suspect that you have OSA but are uncertain, ask yourself three questions. First, do you feel very tired during the day and tend to fall asleep during work or driving a car? Second, do you snore very loudly and disturb your bed partner? And lastly, did your dentist mention to you that you might be grinding or clenching your teeth very hard at night during sleep? If it's a solid yes to all the questions above, you need to consult a trained sleep physician or a trained dental sleep medicine physician to get the proper assessment, management and or referral. That's all for me today. I hope you learned something new and see you next time. Bye!